Well, good morning and welcome to today's International Space Station update. You're joining us here inside of the International Space Station Flight Control Room in Houston, Texas, where the Orbit 2 team is currently on console monitoring all of their respective systems on board the orbiting laboratory. Today's team is being led by Flight Director Tomas Gonzalez Torres there in the right of your screen and in the red shirt right next to him is today's Capcom NASA astronaut Clay Anderson serving as the voice communication link between controllers here on the ground and the astronauts up in space. And those astronauts right now are the crew of Expedition 32 currently comprised of six crew members since the addition just a uh, little over a week ago. The astronauts quite busy with the, an array of different maintenance and experiment activities today starting off with current Expedition 32 commander and Russian cosmonaut Gennady Padalka, who spent a couple of hours today leading uh, astronauts William Soshide and Malenchenko in a session with the integrated emergency hardware familiarization, conferring with teams on the ground as he looks to familiarize these newer crew members with different equipment locations and valve positions across the Russian and U.S. segments on board the International Space Station. Aside from doing that today, he'll be working on the uh, Russian Electron system, which looks to generate oxygen for the astronauts' breathing atmosphere, and also replacing a few components inside of the Russian toilet system. Meanwhile, his fellow Russian cosmonaut Sergei Revin is doing some uh, maintenance work on the uh, air revitalization system on board this space station, doing some cleaning of a few of the air ducts and fan screens, and also replacing a few lights and power supplies inside of the pier's docking compartment. He'll also be doing an inspection of a few of the windows on the Russian segment service module, or Zvezda, checking for any discoloration or potential uh, new nicks and dings or any hazards. NASA astronaut Joe Acaba has been setting up the Ultrasound 2 experiment hardware. Uh, all that was used today in a couple of scans for the integrated cardiovascular inside of the U.S. laboratory. Integrated cardiovascular, one of the many biological experiments on board the station looking to monitor the atrophy of the heart muscle or the weakening of that heart muscle as these astronauts are exposed to the microgravity environment of space for long durations of time. Aside from that ultrasound to work today, he'll also be taking a photo survey of the permanent multi-purpose module and also the station's cupola, which is the uh, large bay window area that these astronauts use for an array of different Earth observation activities as well as robotic operations. Moving on, Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko involved in the Typologia experiment, a Russian uh, research project used for the assessment of the uh, mental state prediction and correction quality of uh, the different tasks that these astronauts perform while they're on board the International Space Station. we will also be taking some time to familiarize himself with the station's uh, systems and environment on board as part of some mandatory crew orientation time. NASA astronaut uh, Sonny Williams was setting up some acoustic dose dosimeters uh, which look to measure the uh, sound that these crew members are exposed to while they're on board the station, part of uh, again, some of those ongoing biological experiments that these crew members kind of use themselves as guinea pigs for. So she'll be setting those up, and then she was uh, assisting Joe Acaba with those ultrasound scans a little bit earlier, monitoring his uh, heart rate and reactivating any of the uh, oxygen or cameras if necessary, and also performing the exercise scans with remote guidance from teams on the ground. And then our final crew member, Aki Hoshide, spending a lot of time today with the Human Research Facility, He's scanning and identifying uh, a number of different crew samples, and also setting up some hardware for some blood collection work scheduled to take place tomorrow morning. And while all this is going on, the big ticket items this week continue to be the uh, slew of visiting vehicle activities. First off, that Progress 47 spacecraft, which undocked uh, Sunday afternoon was scheduled to redock, testing out a new cores system on Monday, which was then aborted following the failure of that uh, new cores antenna. Controllers are still taking a look at all of the data from that and working on a, another redocking attempt, potentially coming up this weekend. And aside from that, another unmanned cargo craft, the H-2 transfer vehicle or the HDV-3 vehicle, which launched last Friday, July 20th, from the Tanagashima Space Center in southern Japan, is still currently on its way towards the International Space Station with a scheduled arrival this Friday. That grapple with the station's robotic arm scheduled to take place at 7.04 a.m. Central Time, 8.04 a.m. Eastern Time. And following that, 
uh, station astronauts will maneuver the vehicle to the uh, Earth-facing side of the Harmony node for a berthing to the ISS set to begin at 9.45 a.m. Central Time, 10.45 a.m. Eastern.